Hello, yet another boring tech challenge, Bini Popowski here, and today we will be creating tables. And by tables, I mean what was once in, in the past called entity. So entities in our tables tab are now just tables, and the, the tables will have rows, just like in other database engines, and we'll see how to create a table now. So we'll just go to data and table tab. And in there, you have your tables, which are created by default in your environment. Those are the tables which Microsoft creates. They are a useful thing to have, uh, because in each of those tables, you will have a set of records which are usually needed for a given table. So it will make things easier. But uh, today, we will be creating our new table, and in there, we just could create display name. I will create the table which I called for games. Because as you all know, no, you don't. <laughs> I love board games. I will set display name to board game and plural name to board games actually. And and in name, as you can see, we have prefix and the prefix. I don't know how much you want to know about this uh, section now, but when you are exporting your tables to another location, another environment, the prefix will be different. So uh, this prefix will let you differentiate one board game table from another based on, on which environment it was. It's for basic usage, it's, it's uh, no use for you now, for now. And display name, uh, this will be primary column. And column is uh, the column is part of your database, which will be primary uh, to let you identify which column is most important and by which you can identify your records because you will be creating records and this uh, primary column name will let you never have uh, duplicates because you can have, you have only one of each name and. As you can see, the name will be also having prefix. Uh, that's all for basic table. You can also have more settings. You can add description to your table to know what it does and what it doesn't do. And uh, you can choose a table type. You've got standard type and and activity type. If um, we'll go with standard table. If you want to know more about activity table. Uh, just go to learn more because uh, this video will have um, two hours if I would describe all other uh, settings. Well, if you need to, uh, to collaborate heavily with your team on creation, on table creation on, and table changes, just uh, just learn about all the options you have there. There are there are a lot of them. They are s uh, set to. Uh, and false on default and also you have created update settings and uh, for your offline capabilities you you have your offline settings uh, for me now I don't want to change a thing there let's just create our first table great so in this created table we have relationships with other tables, keys. Okay, so now in order we have to wait for this table to be created. And as you see now, the table was created and we have views, forms, dashboard, charts, keys and data. And I will be talking in my future videos about all those. But what you want to know is that here we have our name, which is primary column. And uh, those are, we have our unique identifier, which is a board game ID. Uh, ID. It was given uh, for the table. And uh, what you want to know also is, is the required field, because uh, some of the, fields will be required and this is the 
board game ID, which is unique in identifier and the name. Dodgers are created uh, by default for each new table. It's, you can just leave them for now. And you can add another column, uh, which will be the table of attribute. For now, that's it. We will be further investigating into tables in future videos. For now, you create your first table. You can add column and, and play on your own. Uh, with, uh, next, in next videos, we'll be attacking uh, those uh, tables and creating uh, columns. And also, in my Canvas app, I will be use them in, in galleries and data tables. So let's stick to my channel and I will show you that next. See you.